Yo, what is up, everybody? I'm back with another video. Um, yeah, we want to talk about this tune. Uh, I'm not gonna really do a tutorial. There's so many boot mode tutorials on YouTube, so I'm just gonna give you guys a little update, show you what stage I'm running, how the car's running on the tune, how the gas has been, all that good stuff. So we are gonna get into that. You know what? I'm actually I'm actually gonna wash my car, guys. I'll give you a little, try to give you guys a little time lapse. I don't know if I'm be able to do it. I don't really got nowhere to put the camera. But uh, yeah, I'll wash my car. Then I'll get into my boot mode settings, my stage. All right, guys, so we got that fresh wash, that glossy look. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's all clean now. Do a little walk around. Still think, I still think I need to get the paint corrected, but you know, it's fine. The only like imperfection is this little chip. Cause like I kind of backed into a garbage can and that's about it. I mean, other than that, it's pretty much clean clean all the way around we need new tires soon before the summer comes but um i don't know what tires to go with shout out to the sponsor norcal dynamics you know what i'm saying he hooks me up with all my carbon and yeah we're gonna get right into the boot mode i'm gonna try to screen record it uh it's my first time doing this in a video so hopefully it comes out clean for you guys to watch it and see what i'm doing so yeah let's get into that fake m out here you know what i'm saying we cut it in the m performance look right here it looks better but this isn't an m car I mean, it's, it's too like an M car, but whatever. All right, so where where is my? Oh, it's back here. It's in the back. All right, all right. So I want to first shout out um, the place where I really get all my parts. There's other places. There's Keys Motorsports. There's a whole bunch of websites you can get parts for the B48, B46 engine. But I want to shout out uh, Powerhouse Performance. Is is not a sponsored video, but. Um, I've seen a lot of places, they actually charge you for this adapter and for this OBD2 to Ethernet co like connection. Like, they charge you for these. And they actually throw it in for free when you order the boot mode tune through their website. So, uh, I'll have links for it down in the description. If you don't have one of these already, you should. And uh, they also make a, a wireless one, like a, like a Bluetooth one that just literally connects into your OBD2 port. And then it connects to your phone. You don't even need to have this cable. But anyways, for now, this is what I'm using. Um, it's just, this is for an iPhone. Um, I'm sure there's one for Android too, but this is the one I have. And uh, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what tune I'm running. All right, guys. All right, guys. So there's not going to be like no cuts in this part. Um, this is my first time doing this. Um, yeah, so what we're actually going to do. Is I'm gonna screen record on my phone um, and show you guys all my boot mode settings and all that and then yeah I'm gonna walk you through what uh, stage I'm on um, just give you a couple details about boot mode I mean there's a lot of videos um, I know there's not a lot for the b48 but they're pretty much all similar when it comes to setting it up starting it it's just kind of they're all OTS map so you kind of just are gonna pick which one your car is specifically modified for or um like with the mods you have you know what i mean so i'm gonna get into that all right guys so when you do this you want to make sure your seat belts in you want to make sure your door shut um that way you can activate the modules and you're going to want to put your car in accessory mode and um yeah once you're looking at the phone you want to make sure that your OBD2 is connected right, and it says everything's good on the top. So what we're gonna do is come to menu. You're gonna go to, ugh, it's so slow on the phone, man. Like, it's ridiculous. We're gonna go to OTS maps, and this is gonna be a list of your general OTS maps. You have stage one, stage two, um, 91 octane, octane, 93 octane. It kind of just depends what state you're in. Um, I'm in California, so I'm actually gonna we actually use the ACN tunes in California. Um, it's cause our admissions are honestly ass. I mean, the gas is quality is terrible. 
Um, I'm hopefully I can run E85 soon. I mean, I want, I wish. I don't know. There's not a tune for it yet. Um, yeah. So when I first got this, uh, let's say about three weeks ago. It's been a couple weeks. I know I didn't record it right away, but it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I kind of messed around with a lot of tunes. And um, what I did is I didn't change my spark plugs first or my ignition coils. So it actually messed my car up because it blew all my... Thank God none of the uh, none of the spark plugs broke, but they all blew like they're burnt. So don't do this without changing your spark plugs for sure. Um, ignition coils are kind of fine. You can do them just to be safe, but uh, at least make sure your spark plugs are good. Um, yeah. So what I did is I started off on ACN one just to fill it out, see how it felt. Uh, it felt pretty. It felt good. It felt all right for a minute, but I got bored. So if you go to the actual 91 map that I'm on, it'll actually give you a list when you first do it of uh, what modifications you need and uh, what's being changed on it. And it'll kind of give you a, a rundown of like what you need to do it. And then, yeah, it's kind of the same for stage two as well. For stage one, you need, I believe, all you need is a charge pipe. And that's it. You don't really need to change anything else. Uh, you can do an intake. It's really it. Um, I do know since I'm stage two, uh, you do need a catless downpipe or at least uh, a better catted downpipe. I'm pretty sure you need catless, but you need a catless downpipe. Um, you don't need an intake. You could change that if you want, like I did with the MST intake. Also, uh, make sure you have the charge pipe done because you are going to be pushing a lot more boost. And you ultimately don't want your charge pipe to crack. So, yeah. Um, so, what I'm... Sorry, this is my first time doing this. It's a, little, it's a little complicated. So, what I'm actually on is going to be the stage two... Where is it? It's going to be stage two ACN 91 Octane right here. And yeah, for this, you really just need a downpipe. Like, that's your main thing. You don't want to blow your cat. You don't want to mess your car up. Um, yeah, this is ACN 91 Octane. This is completely stage two. It's going to put you around. I don't know the estimate on horsepower, but it says around 310. Um, that could be hit or miss, depending on a lot of stuff. So I'll just say 300 flat. It puts you at about 300 flat. Um, actually, on your uh gauges that you have oem gauges in your car if you didn't know in your iDrive, it shows you you're about 320 but i don't know how accurate that is i need to go get it uh dynoed obviously to give you guys a better number of how much power i'm actually pushing out of my b48 engine and yeah so when you go into boot mode you can kind of we're gonna go back we're gonna go to so this is it has diagnostics it has map editor you don't really mess with that or the diagnostic so you can read codes with boot mode this is going to be all your ots maps and this is going to be the maps you tuned with uh where it says my maps and then you can also data log everything make sure everything's running popular pro properly all that so yeah so we're going to get into my maps we're going to go to my uh stage two acn 91 octane tune as you can see it says high flow downpipe so we could do a lot of stuff from here. I mean, we could go to, we could go to configure. This is gonna let you change your exhaust settings. Sorry, that keeps popping up. This is gonna change your exhaust settings. They have OEM, OTS, original, off, which I don't know why you use off, but. And then you also have like, uh, you have custom. And once you go into custom, you can actually change with the duration of your burbles, um, the RPMs, how loud you want them to be, all that. I wouldn't go too loud if you're you have a stock exhaust, but uh, if you have a catalyst downpipe, go crazy with the burbles. It doesn't really matter. So uh, these are kind of where my settings are at now. I'm still messing with it. I'm still new to boot mode. So uh, this is kind of where I have everything. I'd say it's in the middle. It's not too loud. It's not too uh, quiet. I kind of like a like in the middle range until I get a exhaust system in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you can also do a lot of things like uh, from the configure menu, like why isn't it working? Anyways, you could you could turn off cooling mode. You could turn on cooling mode. 
Um, you can mess with your uh, flap in your exhaust if you want to open on sport all the time. Little stuff like that you can mess around with. When it comes to this, you can do your GTS startup roar. You can keep it OEM. You have max cooling mode. Turn off that annoying start stop button. That you, I mean, not the start stop button, but the engine start stop button that's above your uh, button to start your engine, which I find is really annoying. Um, I kind of don't mess with these. Again, you can mess with your exhaust flap. Um, if your downpipe throws a light, you can uh, turn off your cell monitors and all that good stuff. So, yeah, this is going to be it for me showing you guys the the settings here's my actual i know it's backwards but those are my verbal settings um i don't know how the screen recording is going to come out but i feel like i gave you guys valuable information um while explaining it um just make sure your seatbelt's in when you're doing this make sure you're in accessory mode um i don't have a battery charger but i recommend you put your car on a battery charger so your battery doesn't die because if you're doing this for too long you're still running power so your battery may die while you're doing this and yeah, just make sure you do the spark plugs. Um, that's most important. I would definitely recommend those dine-in ignition coils. I actually did a video previously to this one explaining uh, a little bit more about those. They're supposed to be a little bit better than the OEM ones and last you a little bit longer. So yeah, that's going to be it for this part of the video. Um, I would say your gas mileage is going to go down a lot. I'd say like, I get like 16 to the gallon now. It was like 25, but it is what it is. Um, this is a daily stage two car stage two tuned car and i plan on doing a lot more to it so it shouldn't get any better it it's crazy in california how high gas is but it's whatever you know what i mean can't really do anything about it what am i gonna do not put gas in my car side note i'm using my ipad to film this in the actual car i think i like it a lot better than the phone i feel like it gives you more of a pan uh, like panned out look camera it is a newer ipad so it's in 4k and uh, yeah, let me know how you guys like this uh, this setup. I tried to use the phone because I mean I have a I have a 12 Pro Max, but you can't really screen record and film yourself, so I kind of had to figure something out. Um, I also have this this camera, but I don't really use it. I don't like filming with this. Uh, I feel like it looks a little weird. So yeah, so it's just a little side note. And uh, another thing, don't leave your car outside, your key outside while you're doing this. That is not smart. I don't know. I don't know what the heck. It made my car freak out. I didn't have my key in and I was playing with the tune, the boot mode app. So, I mean, yeah. All right. I don't know if you're going to be able to, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it in the cabin with me. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get someone to record the exhaust for you. You kind of heard it in my last video. Um, it sounds a lot better with the downpipe, the tune, like everything's tuned in. The car runs just like perfectly fine now. Um, Yeah. I'm going to rev it for you a couple times. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it through the actual uh, cabin of the car. Um, hopefully I can throw some clips towards the end, get here from the outside, but uh, it is a lot louder, so you should be able to hear it. I'm gonna do one in Comfort, one in Sport, one in Sport Plus. So let's get into this. It's, it's, it's really tame in Comfort. I mean, it's not too loud at all. I, I, think it closes, I think it closes the flap while you're in Comfort, so you're probably not gonna hear any burbles. It's when you put it in sport that you really hear it. And this is me revving it to around 5,000 RPMs. I don't know if, again, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's super loud. It's it's really loud now. And uh, that's even without an exhaust system. So, yeah. And then that was going to be sport. And we're, let's get into sport plus. I'm kind of giving you guys my, like, life, like, hearing the exhaust. I've heard it before, but... Uh, yeah, I've never really did a reaction to it, so I think it sounds tight. Yep, yeah, that's that's gonna be the exhaust.
All right, guys, so that's going to conclude the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to have more content coming soon. We are not done just because we're tuned in full bolt-ons. We are not done. Now it's time for the looks. You know what I'm saying? Get these exterior mods gone. Get that bumper gone. Get the new one in. All that. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Click that button in the corner. It'll actually let you subscribe to my channel now. Um, I'm trying to give you guys some better quality content now. Um, I see the views. I need those subs to go up. You know what I'm saying? If we want to really get this thing going big, maybe add another car later on to the channel, a little rebuild of an E90 series. I've been looking into those. So yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Thank y'all for watching and we out.